Welcome to the first ever video clip from Moldova. We um, are just, just thinking about how it was 14 years ago that I came to Moldova as a single guy. Could never have imagined what was, was ahead. And of course, the main uh, event that was a wonder for me was meeting and marrying Gala. We've been married for 10 years. And so we're so grateful for all of you that continue to pray for us and support us. We wanted to give you a little clip of uh, pictures and uh, update of the different ministries that we're involved with. So are you ready? So the first area is to talking about our involvement with the International Christian Fellowship, an English-speaking church here in Chisinau. And We've been part of the leadership team there, and I've been being given a lot of opportunities to teach. One of the fun things has been leading a Bible study in the book of Exodus, which has been great. And we've been getting such a good mix of people, students and, and English-speaking people, non-native speaking people. Um, so that's been great. And, and one of the things that we're seeing you know, over this past year, it's just a big growth of uh, people, students from the Central Asian region, students from Tajikistan and Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, um, who have joined our fellowship. And also now we have a new group of Indians that are students at the Medical Institute. And they have found us and are attending our fellowship. And so we've seen almost a doubling of our congregation made up mostly of international students. So that's been an exciting new development in our church uh, and working with the students. Um, another area that has been our involvement with Stella's Voice. And Stella's Voice is that ministry to provide a place to live for children that have aged out of the orphanage system here in Moldova. So they're typically between the ages of 17 and 21. And um, young ladies mostly, and we have a Bible study there every Friday night and just teaching Bible and building relationships and getting to know those kids has been a great joy for us this past year. Um, and then there's my wife's involvement with Coram Dale. Two years ago, I started taking courses in Biblical Counseling in Institute Coram Dale, which means before God or in the presence of God. It's a three years program where we learn how to help people to see themselves in relationship with God first and how to change their hearts toward God and then their behavior. I have one more year of study, but while I'm working with people, I understand more and more what does it mean one verse from Bible. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Jeremiah 17, 9. Please pray for wisdom from God for changing my heart first and for helping others. Thank you. Uh, one of the other things that Gala is involved with is called the Coffee House, which is a a branch of the Teen Challenge ministry to people that are struggling with addictions. The coffee house is every Wednesday night where they, people can come and, and meet in small groups and discuss Jesus and the Bible and learning how to try to overcome their addictions. 
So she's been really enjoying being involved with that every week. One of the things we enjoy doing with the Central Asian students is we have a twice a month home group where we gather over at our friend's house from Nor Norway and they uh, we cook dinner, we have worship time, we have prayer time. It's a great way for the students to get away from the university and all their studies and just have a home-cooked meal and time spent together. And that's one of the highlights of our month. And then of course the last area of our, our lives is our family. And we have just been enjoying so much having our granddaughter Ksenia who's now almost two and a half. She is just a, a bright light in the middle of our family. We spend as much time with her as we can. Um, but it's also in the, in the face of difficulty as our chum, our son, continues to make tough choices for himself. And uh, so we, we ask that you to continue to pray with us for him because he's um, currently not holding up his responsibilities as a husband and a father, let's just put it that way. But, um, but Ksenia has been a delight for us, and a joy for our family. Um, so we just, these are just the brief uh, updates of what we're doing here in Moldova. We're so grateful to you for, our, for your prayers and your support. We just wanna particularly to just give thanks to all of you that are uh, supporting us and praying for us. We're very grateful and uh, we would just love to invite you to drop us a line and a photo, family, picture. We'd love to know what's going on with you as well. So we just uh, thank you. God bless you. Take care.